Sometimes I say the wrong word or forget what I was talking about. Is this because my brain is shrinking? Well, there's quite a long line of connections and, and consequences between somebody at one moment, perhaps just not able to find the right word, mm -hmm. and whether or not their brain's shrinking. So there are lots of reasons why someone might not be able to find the right word. So everybody in normal life, um, whether they're happy, healthy, got MS, whatever, will have times when they can't find the right word. And if you watch, for example, the newsreaders or you watch someone being interviewed on television, mm. you'll see, if you watch carefully, you'll see that all these people who are running the country, they all forget their words at times, yeah. okay? So, so it's something that happens to everyone, mm -hmm. but to be fair, it does happen slightly more to people with MS. Mm -hmm. So it might be uh, a fatigue effect. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, I think that's quite a strong uh, influence. Mm -hmm. uh, um, it, also, uh, it might be that um, uh, because people with MS, some of them understandably feel a little bit anxious or maybe perhaps are a little bit kind of over vigilant of any kind mm -hmm. of glitches in terms of their function. When they find that perhaps the word isn't there just the minute they want it, mm -hmm. they perhaps start to sort of clam up and panic a little bit. And that in itself can jam you up. Mm. So if I started panicking now, I don't know if I'm going to, but if I started panicking now, I would jam up. Mm -hmm. So there's lots of things that can be happening that can stop your words that aren't really a kind of direct brain atrophy issue. Okay. But it is true that, you know, in large groups of people with... Uh, over many years, you're talking decades mm -hmm. now, those people who have the most brain atrophy are likely to be the ones who will have the most word-finding difficulty. Right.